Hello, my beautiful loves. I'm back with your weekly energy twin flame soulmate uh, update. We're going to do a pick a card. And um, <coughs> please bear with my coughing. I'm still coughing a little bit, but I'm getting better every day. And so I feel like I'm back on a regular basis now. So let's do this. So I'm going to be doing the infamous um, interconnection spread. If you are new to my channel, this is something that was passed down to me when I was a very little girl um, by a lady who taught me how to read tarot and connect to spirit and saw my gifts when I was very little. So uh, spirit brought this woman into my life and taught me this spread. So let's get started. Your first pile here, I want you to focus on the masculine and feminine energies that I've laid out for you so that you can um, get a good feel for it. The first one is the moon gazer obsidian flat piece of stone and it is with the shaman deck. Okay, and this is the masculine and the emperor and the empress energies for this deck. Okay. It's pile number one. Pile number two is my deck that I've created with the Amethyst Point, the Cosmic Tarot, and these are the masculine and feminine energies. You may want to pause and just go by your gut instincts, your first gut instinct. You can be pulled to more than one, but weigh your options and go with the first one first, and then watch the second one. Pile number three is this beautiful rose quartz that I have. It is the Starman deck and here is the Emperor and the Empress. Okay and the last one is the one of my favorite stones. It is the Lumerian quartz. This was gifted to me by one of my mentors. Uh, it's got a lot of coating and it's really beautiful. We have the Lightseer Ways deck with the Emperor and the Empress here. All right, so you may want to pause the video at this point. Just breathe, focus, and we're going to get started to see what's going on in your energy interconnection spread with you and your person that you're thinking of. Hello, pile number one. If you picked the Shaman deck with the Obsidian Moon Gazer, we're going to get started with your reading. As this works, if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is an interconnection spread. We read the cards in all ways of energy. We read it from the center out. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me. And the subscribe button and the notification bell. And we're going to get started. All right. Because I had COVID, guys, I'm probably going to do the Zodiac readings for May, only because I missed April with my healing journey. All right, let's see what is going on. Can I have four cards, please, Spirit, for pile number one and their energy update with their twin mate, soulmate, whoever they're thinking of. Can I please have four cards, please, for my, for, whoa. Okay, so there's been a tower moment. Did you see how all of this started to, the pile wanted to come right out? So... There's definitely been a massive tower moment, an awakening that I'm seeing. I'm also feeling that if there was other parties involved, it is completely done. Let's take a look. Let's see how these energies are interconnecting spirit. Yeah, because when the deck falls out like that, um, definitely a sign that something is happening. Okay, some type of massive shift has happened. That's actually in the 3D is what I'm hearing from Spirit. So let's take a look. Let's see what is up with pile number one. <coughs> this is one of my favorites. It's a really beautiful spread. It's kind of cool too. I can kind of hold it up for you guys too if the cards cooperate. Wow. So the center of this read, you guys, if you want to look at this, is the Emperor's right in the middle. He's the one that's had the awakening. That's what I was feeling. So we have the Two of Swords right on top of, of him. So um, what's happening is this, like, this, uh, which direction to go in now. There's been a massive awakening. He is completely connected to the Divine Feminine here, okay, and also connecting to being independent, single, 
on his own. So this person is exactly what I was what I was feeling that the tower has happened. They're at a crossroads of what to do with their foundation and how to express their heart. The king of cups is um very emotional and is able to handle all of their emotions, but they're not the most expressive, okay? So water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you may be dealing with, but doesn't have to be. I don't like to call out signs because um, well, it's just the energies that are playing out. So the center of the read is about the divine masculine. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this here. We're going to clarify and take a look at what's going on with his crossroads. What is this crossroads? He's, it, what I'm seeing here is like wanting to, um, he's weighing, do I come towards the divine feminine or do I stay single for a bit? Um, and realizing I don't want to be a rebound either. And so he's really trying to make this decision. What is this decision here, Spirit? Haha, -ha. see, karmic energies, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, has completely ended. Let's clarify that. I'm going to put this here so it's going to, you know what? Let's do it this way. Sorry, guys. We're going to correspond with the clarification here on this side. What is it with the karmic energies, please? That's happened here. Let's put the masculine at a crossroads. Yeah, the injustice and ending heartbreak. So the injustice has already happened to those karmic energies. Um, they're coming, the swords are falling out of, could have been third party situation, right? Um, if the swords are, are in reverse, they're falling out of the heart, this masculine's healing, out of the injustice that may have happened to this karmic energy, okay? Yeah, and wanting to come forward um, with an offer now to Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with the masculine in regards to the feminine energy and being at this crossroads. Yeah, he feels he knows that he may have manipulated this situation. He's had a very deep internal change over his own manipulation tactics towards the divine feminine and how toxic um, he's also obsessed with divine feminine. But it's also very toxic of where he's trapped. Look at the major arcana when I'm clarifying this masculine energy towards this feminine, the magician reversed the devil and the internal um, the tower in reverse, which is a deep internal change, a fear of change, too. But what I'm feeling is like this masculine may have gotten over that fear of change. But what's happening is this manipulation, trying to manipulate his way out of his connection. This masculine did everything to try and move on from this queen over here, this empress. <laughs> and it ain't working. Well, clarify that spirit about that manipulation that tried to do divine feminine. Yeah, it halted everything and knows that this is his legacy. Okay. Everything in his life halted. Right? That he knows that this is the real deal. This is Ten of Pentacles. This is the legacy. This is the life. So let's see about masculine in regards to being this abundant and single and being on his own. Yeah, he's not looking at the truth here. Yeah, he's uh, coming out of his healing with the karmic energies. Okay. What is the suppressing of truth? Spirit. He's letting his guard down of where he's suppressed the truth in the past. So this is um, clarifying this nine of pentacles here, okay? He's, uh, what's happening here is that he's uh, suppressed the truth with the karmic energies. He's had to come clean and clarify it. He has to now come out of uh, separation and let his guard down um, and be, and the sup this suppression is like, you see, he's trying to balance it now, Okay. Give me more about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, he has massive regrets. He's trying to end his regrets of withholding the truth. Okay, so he knows that um, he is completing his healing. Okay, in regards to karmic energies. But he's also... It's very... This mask is very interesting, okay? Because he's coming out of a massive awakening or he knows Divine Feminine is his legacy he knows divine feminine is where it's at um let's clarify this offer he wants to offer he's at a crossroads of what to offer divine feminine okay he knows he has to end the burdens of this take responsibility clean it up and come forward with the king of swords of the communication um and he's done his healing here with this karmic energy and he's single 
He's trying to hold balance. He's just working on letting his guard down. That's really what it is. Yeah, he knows he has to return to the past or he's going to create more emotional instability and start this new beginning. He knows he can't wait on this anymore, okay? So we have the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands in reverse. So he knows he can't wait on this anymore. He knows he has to backtrack, go back to the past because it's so emotionally unstable and offer this brand new beginning. So he's completely aware of that. He's just in a balancing place right now. It's like, do I stay single a little bit longer or do I move forward? Divine Masculine here with his crossroads is also with his home life. So let's take a look at his home life here. The foundation here, this card here we're clarifying, is this is in conflict, that he can't work on that. So he's nearing a finish line of ending conflict in his life. He's not trying to focus on conflict, okay? He's nearing the end of the finish line, using his intuition to get on a brand new path. Cause, and he's hung about what to do with his foundation right now. He's still juggling. He may have had a foundation with this karmic person and still trying to juggle that. His heart space is the king of cups. Is that he wants to win this, okay? I'll put that up here. He wants to become victorious in this. And this is between Divine Feminine here, right? Oops, this is still there. This is between Divine Feminine, this king of cups. And between being single. So he wants to be victorious. What is this King of Cups and his feelings towards Divine Feminine? Wow. The King of Cups to the Queen of Cups here. That is his, his person. He's completely aware of that. And what about the Divine Feminine? He has a lot of feelings. He knows that he's the, that she's the counterpart. He knows he's closed off right now, but he knows he's hanging on. He knows that this is his Ten of Cups. And so where is he in regards to King of Cups in regards to being single and abundant? I feel like he wants to win at that too. He's made the decision here, okay, to be with Divine Feminine. He has, but he's he knows that he has to put an end to his deceptive ways. Okay, so this masculine has a tendency to withhold information, okay, tends to not want to share the truth, tends to have massive control issues and trying to control situations, um, and but knows that this divine feminine that he has to really look at how he's trying to manipulate the situation and what exactly has happened in regards to that. We're gonna let's go deeper, you guys. Let's get some oracles out for you guys. That's the overall energy here. Um, let's get some oracles out and see what's going on. He's at a crossroads. He knows that he wants it. I it, if <laughs> I see it, if he's single, he ain't single for long. Um, he knows that he can't wait. Right? He knows he can't wait uh, to come towards. Let's see what's going on with the Kipper deck. Yeah, Spirit is saying, let's pull some other oracles. We're going to get some oracle messages for you guys. Let's take a look. Thank you, Spirit. Let's start with the Romance Angels. Ooh, this came flying out. Did you see that? What is it? Honeymoon wants to go away with Divine Feminine. Let's take a look. What is going on with Masculine Energy towards Divine Feminine? What is going on with masculine energy towards the divine feminine? What is going on with masculine energy towards the divine feminine? Thank you, spirit. What's in the headspace? Not heart space. Thank you. All of it. Thank you. Headspace. He knows about the separation, okay? His heart is saying that this is worth waiting for, okay? His actions is that he knows he has to come forward and talk. And he knows he has to give this a chance. So this masculine is completely aware of the entire situation. Like I was saying, <coughs> they're completely aware of, okay, I'm single. Do I come forward? They know that they have the power to end this separation. They know that it is divine timing. So they know that they can take their time. Okay. They know that God is working on this so they can take the time and wait for before they actually come forward. They know that they have to have this uncomfortable conversation about their manipulation tactics. They're ghosting, they're pulling away, uh, their dishonesty, withholding information, okay? Their shadiness, they know they have to talk about this and they know that that's the only way that this divine feminine is gonna give this masculine a chance. Okay, so they're very aware of it. Look how that popped out, guys. Yeah, they know that uh, spirits leveraging them, that they know the Divine Feminine is no place like home, okay? 
We have a 50 and a 34, which is a 5 and a 7. Let's see what else. Let's get some more oracles out here for you guys for pile number one. What is going on for pile number one, please, with their person? Thank you. Some oracle messages, please, for pile number one. Can we have one for the headspace for mouse? Okay, we've got three already. Four. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look at this. They have a deep knowing. They have control over the separation, okay? So this masculine is taking control of any possible thing that they can possibly control. Like this masculine is very analytical. I'm seeing very divine feminine, very soft to a very strong masculine analytical mindset, okay? So they know that they are the ones that can change this, okay? Separation. They're breathing. They're taking their time, okay? They know that spirit is going to bring this divine timing in place, okay? They know that this is the soulmate, penguins mate for life, okay? This is the soulmate card, this is the twin flame thing. They know this, they have to have a conversation with this with this divine feminine and to give this a chance, they're going round and round and round and round and round. This is where they're stuck in their head, okay? They're like, do I do this? Oh my, do I stay single? So this is where they're at right now. The karmic energies have ended in this connection, okay? It's over. They're not interested in the karmic. Um, this masculine has leveled up. So their next step is like they're just controlling the situation before they come forward. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else, Spirit. What about this divine masculine towards the divine feminine, please? Clarify of mind space and separation. They're deep knowing. Don't want to talk, eh? Okay. Three and that one fell. One more. Thank you. Yeah, see, this is putting them in a place of despair, concern. Wow, they feel the loss of Divine Feminine, okay? So they're working really, really hard. They're going, and but it's not really working hard. This toil and labor, this masculine is definitely stuck in their head. They're going back and forth. They have a deep knowing about the separation. They have control. They feel the loss of their Divine Feminine in their heart. They're taking the time to feel a loss okay it could be from karmic energies but whatever they're doing they're healing this heart space we're gonna pull some island time as well um they have a lot of concern about this connection okay with the divine feminine and they're in massive despair because they're stuck in their head like this masculine has to just do it and just you know when you have fear or you have anxiety you have to push through it and just friggin do it because you waste time. You just, this this is suffering, right? This is a pattern this masculine has to heal is their own internal suffering. Can we have four cards, please, Spirit? Look at this. This is a twin flame connection, okay? Twin flame came out. Chaser, okay? Engagement, karmic partnership. Look at this. They've been working hard. This separation, they've been going round and round and round, working hard with that, that third party, but they have a deep knowing that it's keeping this separate from divine feminine they're also fully aware that they will lose an, an evolution process in their heart to move into something more so they're concerned now because they're gonna have to come chase to have this conversation with divine feminine and they're in massive despair that their mind patterns have kept them away from the twin flame okay guys wow that is some intense energies let's get some healing messages for you for divine feminine this masculine wow spirit wants me to pull one more sorry guys let's do one more deck the angel answers they want me to pull one more for you guys and then we're going to get some grounding messages for divine feminine so whatever wants to come out here spirit some final messages divine masculine towards divine feminine this masculine knows that there was something better. That's why they were dealing with this karmic energy here. Okay. They know that there's something better here. They know that this opportunity is here. Okay. They feel the loss of divine feminine, but they know that if it, they, there's an opportunity, if they move forward, that it will heal their losses. Okay. This is going to happen in perfect timing. Okay. For some of you up to a year from now. Okay. So it's going to happen in the perfect timing. They have massive concern. They know, <coughs> excuse me, they have to have this conversation. They're going to have to come towards, uh, when they're pulled by divine timing 
and it can happen up to uh, for some of you up to a year max is what I'm hearing um, for them to finally get out of this headspace and to ground this energy okay let's do some healing messages for divine feminine and that will be your reading for group number one let's get some healing messages for divine feminine please for pile number one please thank you I'm gonna just move these out of the way guys because we're gonna do some messages from your person to you as well okay and stay tuned because the channel teachings will be out today as well. Okay. Divine Feminine, we have stay still. Be in the meadow of your vulnerable place. Be one with yourself. Be still. Okay. Change your perspective about this right now and work on your earth magic. Work on your abundance. Work on what you're doing for yourself because it's very important to be in this state of divine feminine energy and in your place of vulnerability. Learn about your powers. Divine, I work very closely with divine feminine energies. Um, I'm still working on the tarot. I had to stop videos for my membership because I was so sick, but um, I'm teaching tarot and it's going to get back online this week and um, we do bi-weekly calls. And so this is, um, you know, learning about your gifts, learning about how to work with the earth. Earth is the feminine energy and really honoring this time of separation, although it can be a little difficult. I understand that, but separation is very important for you to find your truest powers. Okay, because this masculine... Well, you know, you know the deal when it's with the masculine, right? The feminines lead the trail. If this person is meant for you, it's going to happen, right? You, nothing that is meant for you can stay away from you. Just remember that divine feminines, okay? You've, it, it, this is your twin flame. It's a lot of work, right guys? It's a lot of work. You've got to be able to uh, really move forward in the mission, and then they will just leave whatever just like that the more that you move forward. That's how it works. No manipulation tactics, no begging, no nothing. That's what karmic energies do, right? You just stand in this place of stillness, vulnerability, open expansion, learning your magic, your perception, tapping into that power, okay? Let's see what your divine masculine would like to say to pile number one. If their person would say anything right now, spirit, what is their higher self saying to my viewer? Thank you. Let's see what energy they're sitting in. They're really feeling divine feminine energies, okay? You guys got three messages. The first one we have is your person is sitting and feeling divine feminine energy. And it says, I know our love is beyond this world. And maybe the world isn't ready for our love. I'm struggling with the depths I feel for you, okay? So I haven't seen this card yet come up for anybody. <laughs> um, they're feeling this loss, okay? They're wondering, can they actually do this? That's why they're in that back and forth place. Um, they're struggling really hard, you know. It's beyond this world. Is is society ready for this, okay? They're struggling with that. They're still having some issues with how people think about this, okay, Divine Feminine? That's why that timing could take up to a year because this masculine is very stuck in their head. They're sitting here, their masculine energy, saying... I remember every word you said to me. I am applying everything you told me to my life. So they're learning their lessons from Divine Feminine. So it's not like this person isn't doing their work. It's a slow pace, but they're doing their work, okay? And they're sitting here feeling Divine Feminine energy, and they're saying, I am focused on mission work and following the path Spirit is laying out for me. I am courageously stepping into the calling. I am noticing how much I am healing doing mission work. So this person, um, the mission was given to you guys, or there's something about learning more about their talents, their gifts, uh, discovering more of themselves. So they're following spirit. And so they're healing in a really big way. So spirit wants you to know divine feminine as you were moving forward in your life and doing you, you started to discover how you were healing and letting this go and allowing God to let it happen. That's where your masculine is at right now. And that's what they wanted you to know. All right, guys, if you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, please comment below and we'll see you soon. I'm sending you so much love. If you want to know more about me, all that info is down below. Bye.
Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. This is uh, an interconnection spread. If you're new to my channel, this is something you won't find anywhere else. And so let's get started right away. We're going to put um, the print, the layout here, and I'm going to clarify on the right. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys. I'm back and healing from COVID. So good. And uh, don't forget, I'm going to be putting out the channel teachings tonight. Okay, it's going to be talking about karmic energies and divine feminine energies and how to heal and how to be in the righteousness of God. So I'm going to be putting that out today. So let's take a look at what's going on with your person. Think about your person. Let's take a look. What is going on with pile number two spirit? My For my viewers, what is going on for pile number two in regards to their connection and their energy update this week? Thank you. I'm going to get four cards. This is my deck, the Cosmic Tarot. So you can see the masculine and feminine is holding a ball of creation and the feminine is also holding that ball of creation. Let's get four cards. Okay, first card. Oh, coming up fast, guys. All right. Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Fool, and the Ace of Swords. So this is how this works. We put it back in. And we shuffle until spirit says stop and we... Do um, we read from the center first out? The center of the de of the read is the most prominent, is the moving energy that's affecting the radius of the energy of the connection between you and your person. <coughs> I'm sorry if you hear my children; they are in online school. So let's take a look here. What is going on with pile number two? If you guys want to work with me, all my info is down below. I'm going to be putting out a set of readings out. Oops. Oops, hold on guys. I just want to make sure this is tight. Okay. Wow. So the center of this read, you guys, is the divine feminine energy, okay? <coughs> Sorry, please don't mind my coughing. I'm still healing. Um, divine feminine is holding the truth of this connection okay she's holding it down she knows the truth and as she is holding this truth and being in her truth of knowing what this connection is it is bringing a new beginning and it is affecting the masculine to know the truth of this connection this feminine is dreaming okay she's fantasizing she's manifesting is what i'm seeing and she's moving towards that vision so this feminine energy is very powerful right now she knows what she wants she's manifesting it and it's not necessarily that she's manifesting her masculine she's just holding the truth and the integrity of herself which is bringing in this new beginning and a lot of her dreams what could have been in her dreams maybe it could be a career maybe it could be you know a new friendship maybe it could be dating somebody else maybe whatever it is that she's desiring those energies are starting to manifest for this divine feminine and this masculine's feeling it and this masculine feminine you're dreaming about the divine masculine here this masculine's fantasizing and dreaming about you this masculine and feminine energy are running completely in parallel to each other so you may not be connecting okay in a 3d place <coughs> or even energetically, but what's happening is your growth is running parallel. So as you're moving through your dreams and moving forward very quickly, Divine Feminine, the masculine is doing the exact same thing in tandem right behind you, okay? Let's clarify that. Let's see this truth with Divine Feminine. What is this truth that Divine Feminine is holding down here, Spirit? Yeah, any upsets that she's had in the past, any emotional disturbances, um, she's ending those type of contracts. I'm seeing ending old contracts that upset her, that affected her, people that aren't good in her life. Yeah, things that are causing drama in her life. She's like, I'm not dealing with that. She's standing very strong in her truth. And so she's, look at this, moving very quickly through. I'm clarifying the middle here, guys. Okay, so I'm going to run tandem here so you guys can see what I'm clarifying. Um, she's holding that truth down and moving through any upsets, any drama, anything that doesn't fit into her life. She's like, that's enough. And this divine masculine is running in tandem. So let's see how this divine masculine, we're going to clarify this divine masculine also with that truth, knowing this truth as divine feminine is holding down. 
and look at this it's falling right on top he's battling okay about this love about his doubts it's making him question his doubts of where he's been stuck in his life where things have halted in his life about this love and why he's been fighting it so he's asking himself a lot of questions about this truth right now okay now the five of wands is not just fighting and battling it's also about training so this is an exercise that spirit is giving this masculine about knowing the truth of this connection with divine feminine what this love is and to see how his doubts are halting his path yeah that he has to end the conflict a lot of changes happening for this divine masculine k group number two so they're going through massive change and questioning their doubts if they doubted this connection it's everything in their life has halted it's creating um you know this conflict that they have to end within themselves that they have to be very honest about this love what about this ace of cups for this divine masculine <laughs> that he's gonna have to communicate some very uncomfortable open up and, and open up that heart and let go and and have and be curious about this connection and the page of swords and to have some very uncomfortable conversations okay we're gonna pull some oracles at the end too so you guys can see we're gonna just do tarot first but let's see what this divine feminine because she's dreaming you guys are dreaming about each other so if you've been dreaming about your masculine feeling his presence he is definitely around you let's see divine feminine dreaming about this what is she dreaming about yeah about her new beginning she's manifesting a new beginning and she's ended her heartbreak those three swords are falling out and so what is divine masculine in regards to these dreams <laughs> he knows that he has to end old family patterns he has to maybe end a commitment he's dreaming about ending his old ways of life <coughs> um about the betrayal that that's going to cause this masculine's having some nightmares okay guys He's seeing things very clearly through his dream. So his, he's getting a lot of messages about Divine Feminine. He's seeing where he may have betrayed her. He's seeing very clearly. He's not at a crossroads. He knows that he has to end his old ways of, of living and a commitment, a marriage, to end this separation for a swords in reverse. Okay, so he's very aware of it. This Divine Feminine is holding this truth into a brand new beginning. She wants a new fresh start no matter what. See, she's, she's not even connecting to her mouth she's doing her own thing okay and this feminine is feeling that truth you know of moving forward and that truth is what's pushing this masculine now okay group number two so let's see about this new beginning for divine feminine this truth is bringing a new beginning any delays and endings and things okay she may have been delaying an ending for this new beginning maybe waiting around yeah yeah ten of cups okay so she knows that maybe a karmic energy is delaying and ending and a transformation for her masculine. So she's not concentrating on that anymore. Okay. She's really looking at her 10th cup here. She's looking at real love and loving herself and moving into a new beginning and working through her abandonment issues here. Five of pentacles. So divine feminine is also going through some changes here and knowing that she deserves this 10th cup and letting her guard down anything that she's defended behaviors the connection whatever she's letting her guard down and saying i can't be in this old vibration anymore this karmic energies that are happening is delaying and ending for my new beginning yeah it's it's procrastination she doesn't want to procrastinate anymore okay sorry my decks have got mixed up so sometimes i'm having two in one but she's standing her ground with faith she's defending fate here so seven of wands again so she's letting her guard down in regards to knowing that she has to move towards the 10th cup and abandoning five of pentacles, this connection right now. She's done this healing work. And this is where she's standing and, and going towards spirit, going towards where fate is taking her, where destiny is taking her and where she has been stuck in the past. Okay. So this divine feminine is moving swiftly forward. Let's clarify that over here and we'll see how the divine masculine is also swiftly moving. Divine feminine moving swiftly forward towards her happiness she's not giving a crap about this masculine energy he's not actioning anything she's moving towards her happiness she's going through that gateway guys she's going through that gateway through illumination of where codependency and attachment has been with this connection and this masculine let's see what's going on with this masculine in regards to moving forward as well he's closing off the past it's forcing this masculine to close off the past he has to close off the past if he wants to move forward. So this masculine realizes 
He's gained the enlightenment. He's still hung, but he knows he has to make this decision out of instability. He has the enlightenment of what's unstable in his life, and he's completely aware that he has to close off his past in order to move forward. Is he going to do it? He's waiting. So this masculine is really contemplating his doubts. He's getting in an awareness place of where the conflicts are, where his doubts have created separation, where he hasn't followed his heart and his spirit. He's waiting, but he knows that he has to close off the path. So he knows the next steps. So Divine Family, you keep moving forward because you are not actioning any of this type of codependency. You're moving towards your happiness here, Divine Feminine. Look at this, becoming a very divine queen, manifesting your money, your life. You're not, yeah, you're moving away from the Nine of Cups. You want the Tenth Cup, right? That's here for Divine Feminine. You want that Tenth Cup and you're willing to move towards that Tenth Cup with or without your masculine and you're moving into a brand new vibration. Whoo, that's beautiful. Let's take, do some oracles for you guys. So this masculine, whatever shifts group number two that you have done, it's really pulling your masculine <coughs> out of some deep path, uh, patterns of, of family patterns, ancestry patterns, um, lineage issues that he's had. Let's do some uh, romance angels for you guys. Um, yeah, it's really affecting him. Let's see here really affecting him we're gonna pull these as well let's see what's going on with your masculine energy towards divine feminine because all my viewers are divine feminine i'm sorry divine masculines what is going on with divine feminine sorry divine masculine do some oracles please <coughs> for their weekly energy update what is going on with divine masculine what would he like to say for group number two Towards the feminine, please. What would group number two like to say towards divine feminine? What is this masculine? Okay. We have codependency. See, that's that's that pattern right there, you guys. Okay. Um, reconciliation. They want to reconcile, guys. Past life and other and keep an open mind. Okay. So remember when we were going through the attached process where divine feminine was like, I don't want to deal with an attachment. I'm not actioning codependency. She's moving through. This is now affecting your masculine with his own codependency. Do you see how that works? And it's bringing the energy that this masculine wants to reconcile now because he's working through his doubts. This, you guys have had many lives together. It's a very powerful connection and knowing also with past lives and he's of water guys, hang on. <coughs> also knowing past lives doesn't necessarily mean that you're meant to be together but this past life is about past life pattern spirit is saying that's why it's been very difficult for this masculine because he has carried over a lot of past life karma that he's still healing and so he wants you to know that he's dealing with that and this connection is very different you have to keep an open mind and he realizes you're very different than anybody that he's ever been with okay so, um, let's see what else, what the Divine Masculine like to say to the viewer of Divine Feminine, please, for pile number two. We're going to pull some Kipper Island Time and some messages as well, guys. We're going to see if we get any timing for you guys with the angel, uh, angel answers. If you are liking this reading, please just hit the like, it really helps. Thanks, guys. All right, let's see. What is going on Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine here? What would he like to say about this codependency, reconciliation, past life, and that one wants, those two want to come out. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. Here and now, okay, they know this doorway is opening up here, okay? The past and the future. They know they have to make a decision about their codependent issues, their addictions, whatever is keeping them trapped in the past. So this masculine is about to make a massive decision in his life. He knows that he wants to reconcile with divine feminine, so he's cleaning up his heart space. This is beautiful, guys, okay? He knows from the past karmic energies that he's cleaning up who feels like home to him. Divine Feminine feels like home because you guys have built up in the past as well too, right? But it's also everything that he has ended karmically in his life. He's seeing who actually feels like home to him. 
And here, he's coming to the edge of his own abandonment issues. That's why he's so codependent. That's why Divine Feminine, you guys have been healing and moving forward from that codependency that he's, this masculine is feeling it and realizing he has to keep an open mind that you're different and that he abandoned you and that he has to come to the edge to take this leap of faith with Divine Feminine, okay? Yeah, this masculine's quite awakened now. He's, um... <laughs> he's really... <laughs> Ah, uh, getting really funny energy with this this guy. Okay, um, he's not as stubborn as group number one. If you looked at group number one, that one was that masculine was very analytical, very stubborn in his energy. This one is like defeated and done. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. I can see where my doubts are actually uh, causing issues. We got improving health that just flipped out. Angel answers, please, spirit. Do you have some angel answers? Any timing that wants to come through for group number two? The masculine towards the divine feminine, please. One, two. Well, three, four. All right. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. So we have here that they're staying positive and that they can heal their codependency. Okay. They believe that they can heal this codependency. They've been speaking to their guides, their angels for reconciliation, and they've been told that they need to clean this up. They are willing to compromise anything from the past, okay? They want to talk. They know that you are home to them, and they want your forgiveness. <coughs> They're hoping the way that they abandoned you and they come back, that they realize who you are to them now, even though you look different, you're not their type, whatever, that doesn't matter, right? They're realizing that they have to keep an open mind because you are home, right? They want your forgiveness, Divine Feminine. They want your forgiveness. Let's see about the Kipper deck. Let's see what else about this masculine towards this feminine. What is going on with this masculine towards this feminine spirit? So, feminines, you keep moving forward. We'll get some messages for you, but you are definitely leading the way in this connection. You're definitely helping this Divine Masculine uh through his own doubts let's see what else the divine masculine would like to say to you they're really wanting to come forward they know they have to clean things up okay we have look marriage <laughs> so they want a commitment okay so they know their codependency is actually hindering them from this beautiful marriage with you they want to reconcile they're cleaning up their life they're working with spirit their angels for this new path. Look at this. They're cleaning things up because they have a new path with you, divine feminine. You feel like home to them. You are the sudden surprise of wealth and abundance that they're realizing this. And they may have rejected you even in other past lives. If some of you, I, I see you remembering that he's rejected you in so many lifetimes that this masculine has to end all these karmic energies and know that this was a surprise for him in this life. This was a great abundance. He wants to compromise and work on this now because you feel like home. He wants your forgiveness, divine feminine. He's concerned that you won't accept him. Very concerned that you won't accept him. You've, you, you're gaining power and momentum, Divine Feminine, in your path. So, whoo, that's beautiful. Beautiful energies are coming through here. This masculine is definitely awakened to your connection, okay? Let's see what is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine. Here, Spirit, clarify this marriage. Wow. They're really wanting this marriage and this passion. Look at this. They are very passionate about you, Divine Feminine. They want this new path. Ooh, what is this? They're coming. The boat. They're cleaning things up and they're coming. All right, so they, they've, they're they receiving what they need. They're progressing. They're arriving. They're moving on. They're closing off issues in their heart. They want a reconciliation. They're cleaning up. They're coming. All right, they know that they had outdated thinking in the past, in the past life too, right? This outdated thinking has taken them quite a long time to figure out what they truly desire here and they're gonna they're concerned like do you want me back they want to be with you look wedding again be lighthearted finding out that this is what they want so this masculine is going to come forward they want you divine feminine completely truly thoroughly everything they want you um in this connection they don't want anybody else they are realizing the truth of this um yeah yeah it's really beautiful. So let's do some messages for Divine Feminine. Some guided messages for you guys. Uh, it's just a matter of time, really. Um, Spirit didn't give us any time for you guys. But 
There's definitely um, forgiveness that needs to happen here. They, they are sorrowful about it. Um, let's see what messages we can get from spirit for you, Divine Feminine. And we'll see what messages your masculine would like to say to you. There's some healing messages for Divine Feminine for my viewers on group number two, please, spirit. <coughs> what are the messages here for pile number two for my Divine Feminines, for my wonderful viewers? Don't forget to like, guys. Let's see what is going on here. Well... Oh. For Divine Feminine. We have Strength. Can we have some more messages for Divine Feminine for group number two? Thank you. Wow. Wow, guys. Okay. The fog is veiled. So if you haven't been knowing what's been going on in the energies, Spirit is purposely veiling this. They want you to hold the strength. Look at the mountains that are here in this picture. You're climbing the mountain. I don't know why I'm hearing the mount, how Muhammad climbed the mountain. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, but this mountain, Divine Feminine, you're making this trail through the mountain here. And so Spirit is, is protecting you and this connection. So you may not know exactly what's going on in the energies. And I feel like that's a message for you guys because you've been, uh, some of you are very intuitive and you're like, what is going on? What is going on? Why am I feeling this way? Spirit's like, I have to keep it veiled right now. Um, hold your strength and keep going. But this is what's happening in this energy. Just remain vulnerable to spirit. No, look at this little mountain again here. You've got a lot of mountains. So you're making your way to know spirit on a more intimate basis. You're healing your own codependency. You're moving towards that 10th cup. Spirit's like, keep going. Keep holding that vulnerable heart, divine feminine. Because look at this dream time. You guys are dreaming. What did I say at the beginning, right? You guys are both doing a lot of dream work together to create this reality in the 3D. So you're dreaming about your twin. They're dreaming about you. Whatever dreams that you're having about what you know that you want in your life, Spirit wants you to do this because it's actually forming the create. Look how beautiful this card is. The creation of your life together. Wow. So even if things are guarded or are not being shown to you, it's because spirit has your back and is working on it. All right. Let's see what messages your person would like to say to you. Think of your person now and keep doing your dream work. You may want to keep a dream journal too. So you keep track of the messages that you get because spirit is really guiding you guys through dream time. Okay. What is going on here, spirit? What would the divine masculine like to say to the divine feminine? Thank you. What would the divine masculine like to say to the divine feminine for viewers and group number two? What would their masculine like to communicate, please? This is my mirrored message deck. It's not for sale yet. Wow, this masculine is very much in their masculine energy. Wow. This masculine is not even in their feminine. They're very much in their masculine. <coughs> okay, we have three cards. Masculine to feminine. Everything reminds me of you. Everything. Okay. Divine masculine. I knew it was you. And the more we got to know one another, something stirred deeply within me. You fascinate me. You have awakened a part of me I had forgotten. In fact, I didn't even know this type of love even existed. You may want to pause that if you want to read that. Beautiful. You've awakened them to that 10th cup. And so Divine Feminine, as you were moving towards that 10th cup, this masculine is moving towards that's God's love, right? You don't want just nine of cups, just the, you want God's love on top of that, right? So this masculine is saying, I know we are mirrored souls. I know we were created as one. So if you've had any doubt that this masculine doesn't know what's going on, this masculine knows what's going on. He's completely aware of this connection for you and with you. Okay. So they're working, both of you working in dream time. All right, you guys, that is your reading. I would love to hear your comments on that. If you'd like to work with me more, uh, all my info is down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, group number three. If you pick the Starman deck with the beautiful rose quartz, this is your reading. If you are new, welcome. This is an interconnection spread. 
uh, energy update. It is timeless. Okay. And we're going to take a look at the connection of the energies between the two of you. Then we're going to pull some oracles and some messages at the end. So let's get started. What is going on for pile number three, please, with their person? We're going to do... Um, I'm going to clarify on the right here, so I'm going to do the uh, spread on the side, and then I'll clarify on the right. What is going on with pile number three, please, Spirit? Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energies. What is going on here, please, with group number three? What is going on? I haven't used this deck in a while. It's one of my faves, actually, too. Whoop, one. So four, three more cards, please, Spirit, for group number three. So, we have the Hanged Man, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant, okay? So, what we do is we put this back in, and we shuffle, and we do uh, a connection spread where all the energies connect. We read the center of the deck first, okay? Um, you won't find this anywhere. This was gifted to me um, when I was very young. So it's kind of like my trademark. <laughs> what is going on with pile number three with their connection, please, spirit? Let's take a look here, guys. I'm hoping I can hold this one up. I don't know how slippery the cards will be, so we're going to try our best. Yeah, you can see. So these ones are very slippery. Um... All right. All right. The center of the reed is the Ace of Wands. The Divine Masculine is very prominent here, okay? So the center of the reed is the changes of this passion, this new beginning, this Divine Masculine, this feeling. But he's going through a lot of regret in his life, and he's very hung, okay? So this new passion that he's feeling... For Divine Feminine, this Feminine is here. They're connected. They're connected through this passionate connection, okay? This passion, this passion the Divine Masculine feels for this Divine Feminine here knows that this is a very sacred connection too. It's not just about passion and sex and lust, right? It's the passion of God. It's the fire. It's the, it's the creation force energy that this Masculine is feeling that this can lead to marriage. This is spirit here. They're weighing their options and they're seeing how the Divine Feminine is very close to Spirit and Spirit's very close to the Divine Feminine. And so this passion is bringing up this Divine Masculine in his headspace is feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regrets of what he's losing in his life right now, and it's causing him to stay very stuck. Okay, he's in a hangman position. He is gaining the enlightenment that he requires, but it's, uh, it's a lot of regrets right now. So he's stuck in a very, like when he connects to this passion, he can feel the holiness. You can see the colors are just golden with the divine feminine and golden with the hierophant. But then when he thinks in his mind space and the regrets of what he's losing, it's like everything has to, he's just coming. I feel this masculine is just coming into an awakening of what this connection is about. He's having a lot of, you know, look at the darker energies, sadness, regret, and the hair on the bottom being hung, you know, um, Spirit's trying to bring in this enlightenment here, right? The Spirit is trying through this passion. You guys have just either what I'm feeling like, um, either one of the newer Twin Flame connections. It doesn't have to be, but I'm feeling like where you're at right now is Spirit is trying to interject as he's their Spirit has put everything on hold with this Divine Masculine so that he can gain the enlightenment here between spirit and how they're connected and how it's connected to their soul to god to you know life force energy and to the divine feminine and that's why it's bringing a lot of regrets let's take a look at this passion let's clarify the the emperor here with the ace of wands and i'm going to do it on this side so clarify the emperor here with the ace of wands her spirit what they're feeling yeah they know that they're gonna they're curious okay they want to discover this so they are letting their guard down okay um, they know they want to communicate and talk about this. So you may get communication soon. They want to just kind of talk about it. Um, but they're a little afraid. Let's clarify that five of cups because they're having some regrets. Um, 
in their life. We have the tower here, guys, with the temperance in reverse. Wow, okay. They've had a massive awakening and their regrets are definitely about what they have done, their actions in their past, what they have to leave behind, even regrets with the divine feminine, the imbalance that they've created, the impatience that they may have had, they may have gone in another direction. And it's like a massive awakening. The tower is upright here. And so it's a very difficult process for this divine masculine. So this is why they may want to come forward and talk to divine feminine. Let's see what else. Like what is this... Um, what is, I want to see this connection. What is this regret here that they're having about this imbalance? Seven of Swords. They weren't honest. Okay. So they, they weren't honest. Okay. Um, what are they being shown with the hangman here, spirit? They, they, everything's stopped in their life because they need to apologize to Divine Feminine. So, <laughs> Yeah, this they have to communicate. So let's take a look at this passion and communicating to Divine Feminine. The Emperor towards the Divine Feminine, please, Spirit. They know they have to give this apology here, right? They know. They have to do some uncomfortable com communication about the lovers, about this love, and the drama. And, and it's hard for them. This is a dramatic thing for this masculine. But they know that this is their love here. Okay, what is the divine feminine towards uh, divine masculine through this passion? They're feeling divine masculine through the passion. I clarify it over here. They're illuminated. So the divine feminine is completely aware. Well, this beginning has never got started. So I'm eating a cough candy so I don't cough on the on video. Um, but they're aware of the instability. This divine feminine is fully aware. I feel like they're much more advanced than this divine masculine. So this divine masculine's just either woken up to this. Um, or they've just had a new epiphany about this. This divine feminine knows that they're completely illuminated to how this instability was created. This masculine knows that they have to apologize. How does divine feminine feel about this? Yeah, they're, they know four of pentacles that they're getting their head and their heart in alignment to build a foundation. And they're closed off. Why is divine feminine closed to the masculine? Yeah, because they know that it's codependent. So whatever this masculine did, this feminine is like, I'm not dealing with your codependencies because it, it, it traps me and I need, and I need to end my pain about this. So they, Divine Feminine, you have been trapped in this situation through codependency, um, attachment. Um, it has trapped you before. So you're closed off if this Divine Masculine does not show you some type of growing and maturing, right? That's what I'm getting. That um, it's not like you're going to cut, you know, you're mean or anything. You just know what you deserve. And so this masculine knows here, okay, that they have to come forward and they have to apologize. How do they feel about that apology? Divine masculine. Oh, they know they have to because they're afraid of this actually ending. Okay. There's a delay. That's why they're not saying anything. That's why they may have ghosted you. That's why they, they, I find a lot of masculines do that. They don't close the door fully. So hoping that they can come back into that, you know, and so they know that that's their ticket is that apology. So let's take a look at what is going on with Divine Masculine with this Hierophant over here and this passion. Two of Wands, they've made a decision. They're not struggling with the, uh, who you are. They know who you are. They know you're the High Priestess. They intuitively feel this. They know that things aren't going to manifest. They can't manipulate the situation. Okay, they may have tried to manipulate it in the past, but they know that this is a high priestess. Their intuition is telling them that this is, and this is a pair. Look at this. The Hierophant with the high priestess, highly spiritual connection, guys. Highly spiritual connection. So they know they can't manipulate the magician in reverse. Yeah, it'll create injustice. So they know that they can't mess with this connection anymore. So this masculine has recently received some massive karmic justice or whatever all they've got their karma served to them okay um and this is why this regret is happening so what is this with divine masculine in regards to regret of now knowing how spiritual this connection is the knight of sort everything got halted in their life so everything came to a standstill and created a lot of conflict in their life so what happened divine feminine you knew that you didn't want to get trapped in this, okay? Well, vibration, you're ending your pain. 
you're moving forward, you're choosing self. And just by doing that, <laughs> it's halted everything in Divine Masculine's life. God came down, it's like, boom, everything stopped, right? And um, this hanged man energy, what is God doing here? I want to clarify this hierophant with this um, hanged man, this hierophant with this hanged man. Let's clarify that. What is God doing here to the divine masculine and teaching him his enlightenment? Wow. Spirits come into your divine masculine and has said, yeah, stop. <laughs> we have the seven of cups. Okay. Look at your options for a new beginning here. Okay. And, and this is like, you're not actioning it. They're showing the math of my masculine where they're not actioning the lessons that they have learned. Okay. And they're trying to show them the different ways to start this new beginning. Let's clarify this. Um, why are they not actioning spirit? Why are you, why are you telling them not to action the, yeah, because they have to provide an offer. So they have to think of an offer to come forward. That's why they're not actioning because they have to actually apologize, right? This is what's happening uh, for a new beginning. I mean, I wouldn't say divine feminine to wait um, for this. You keep moving forward, but they're looking at options. What are their options here? They have to uh, do this from a place of love. Okay, they can't manipulate the situation anymore. And <laughs> they have to do it from a place of love. Yeah, they have to end... A commitment to get on a new path anything that's unrequited love it could have been a family issue it could have been a marriage it could have been a, a old way of life okay that they have to put an end to that anything that's non-requited love and spirits trying to show them all their different options and how to do this to be able to come forward with a new spiritual path we have all the pages here we have page of cups page of wands um page of pentacles okay so there's a lot of, and they want to passionately act, access, uh, action this as well too. Okay. So yeah. And the page of wands in reverse. So sorry, this is uh sorry, this is, they have to move forward. So this is the knight of wands. Sorry guys. They have to move forward with communication. Yeah. That's what they're saying to get off this old path of any karmic energies that may have been playing out. So that's what's happening in your connection right now. Um, their regrets and stuff like that is the dishonesty and what they've done. So they know they have to come clean. That's what this masculine is really trying to think of a way to come clean to you, Divine Feminine. Let's pull some oracles. Wow. Really great positive messages through all of the groups today. Uh, some really awakened masculines is what I'm seeing. I'm like, how, how is this, how is this a thing? My masculine's not awakened. <laughs> oh, dear God. I need, you guys need to be, you guys need to comment down below. You guys need to be teaching me, seriously, okay? What's going on? My mask, my mask is so asleep, okay? Um, let's take a look. <laughs> um, what is going on here? Let's pull some romance angels. We're going to see if we get some timing. We're going to see some um, island time wellness. We're, we're going to just play it out here. Let's see. Group number three, what is going on? They're masculine towards the divine feminine. <coughs> masculine energies towards the divine feminine. Let's take a look here for pile number three, spirit. Thank you. What is going on with divine masculine towards the feminine? Can I get four cards? Oh, that came out pretty quick. That came out fast, guys. Let's see. They want a new love with you, divine feminine. They want a brand new vibration, okay? They want forgiveness. <laughs> Please, baby, forgive me. I hurt you. They want to marry you. They want to engage. They want this to level up, okay? So their actions, when they do come towards you, some of you may get a proposal, but, I mean, let's not go there, right? Because that's, like, pretty drastic, and that's not healthy either, right? So some of you may be. <coughs> I'm not saying that's not a possibility. You'll know. Because this is a general read. But... Whatever actions they take, they know that it's going to lead to marriage. And so the outcome here is for them to move to the next level, the engagement, okay, to start dating, to make that apology, to come forward. They want a brand new beginning here with you, Divine Feminine. Oh, these poor, these poor guys. I was going to say these poor bastards, but I can't really say that. Um, <laughs> let's take a look. Like I said, you guys, you give me, leave me some like tips down below, guys, because my, my masculine, none of these readings are about my masculine, <laughs> I'll tell you that. 
Um, let's take a look and see if there's a time frame here. I feel like I need to pull these angel answers. Spirit, can you give us a time frame or any other info from Divine Masculine towards group number three, please? What is going on here? Pile number three towards their that divine feminine. All right, let's cut it. What is this new love? Let's clarify the new love. New love, forgiveness, wedding, and outcome. Okay. They really want forgiveness. Aw, oh, you guys, they're really sorry, okay? Within the next few months, okay, guys, they're coming forward. They want big, happy changes. They're hoping you'll forgive them. They know that they're going to move towards marriage with you, a commitment. They want your forgiveness to level up. They know, and that's what that apology was coming through in your reading very strongly, Divine Feminine is demanding that apology. You know you were treated unfairly. And, they're, and they know that they, that's their key ticket to come back in and that you will actually maybe hear them out. Um, this Divine Masculine really, really is sorry. There's a lot of regrets from the past of what they've lost with you. That's what we were seeing in the tarot as well, right? They were just, yeah. They know. They know. They fudged. They fudged hard. You know, <laughs> they fudged hard. I'm going to put that on a shirt. Fudge hard, baby. Fudge hard. Because that's exactly what they did. They got to, like, redeem themselves hard now is what's happening with these Divine Masculines. But there's, this Masculine's fighting for you. Okay? So, pile number three, this Masculine's not as much in this head as the other two groups. It's kind of like the first group. Like, they were stubborn as hell. Group number two, they were like, okay, a little bit more at ease. And group number three is, like, they're not stubborn. They're coming for it. Right? They've had an awakening. Um... They know they have to come forward. They gained a they 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 may be fairly new on the journey, but they have a lot of integrity, is what I'm getting. So it doesn't even matter how new or old this is. Like they they've gained a lot of integrity, okay, about uh, an authenticity through this growth that they've been having. So let's see about this new love within the next few months. Masculine towards the feminine here. What is this? They want to work with you. They want to build hobbies. See how your energies merge together. In their heart, they want forgiveness so that they can bring big changes. That They're going to surprise you. We've got two here. They feel the loss of Divine Feminine, okay? They want to gift you something. They want to come forward. It's going to be completely unexpected when you least expect a Divine Feminine, okay? Within the next few months, though, so you did get a time marker. Uh, they want to marry you. They want commitment. They know it's going to lead to commitment, they may be a wealthy person. They're going to shop. I'm getting this person has some money. This this person will sh come after you and try to charm you and wine and dine you. But remember, Divine Feminine, you know what you deserve, right? You also just know that you're not going to be mistaken out of attachment and codependency either. But this masculine, let's clarify the wealthy man a little bit more, wants to show you that they... <laughs> They've changed. Wow. They've changed. They want forgiveness. Okay. They want to enhance this connection and they want to move forward and they really, really want your forgiveness, Divine Feminine. They want this new path with you. Wow. They really want this new path with you. Okay. Let's take a look at the island time wellness here. Can't make that up, guys. Like they're, they're really, uh, they're kind of hurting here. They're having massive regrets about you. You know, they know that they have to move forward now. So Divine Feminines, we'll get some healing messages for you and what you can keep doing. Um, but whatever you're doing, it's working. All right. So let's take a look here. What is going on with Divine Feminine here? I mean, Divine Masculine, sorry. Yeah, they put an end. Okay. Uh, let's get one more Divine Masculine in regards to this. Yeah. <laughs> that they ran away. And they were seduced by other things in their life. And they know this. They put an end to it. They want you to know. They put an end to start this new beginning with you. And they want to start within the next few months. Okay. They are going to surprise you. They know the loss that they've had with you is extreme. Look at this. They're outdated thinking. They're moving beyond that. The ship. They're closing off anything. And they're coming towards you. They know that they have to bring change. Okay. To you here. Um. They broke up with the snake. So if there's a third party involved, it's done. Okay. They've broken up with any type of malicious energy and they want your forgiveness in a really big way. They're rising hard for this path. 
okay they know they stabbed you in the back okay they know that they they're looking at your picture but they they're transforming and they're gaining a lot of clarity here they know they're rising out of this okay so they know what they want with the divine feminine here we're going to get some more cards here wow they know they're taking ownership this masculine is taking responsibility this masculine has no stubbornness no like they're doing it okay uh the first two energies were a little bit hmm, still a little bit but they know but they're still stuck in their head this masculine is not even in their head they're like it's over i'm done i'm moving forward i, I need to do this okay so let's take a look what is going on with divine masculine towards the feminine what they like to say here with this new love here oh sorry guys i wasn't ready for that let's i wasn't ready for this give me a second what's going on with divine masculine for group number three please towards the feminine thank you thank you what's going on with divine masculine towards the feminine this new love can i have a card please that feels better thank you yeah they're getting a leg up from spirit okay so whatever they <laughs> spirit is leveraging them spirit i'm hearing spirit say they have redeemed themselves to god okay so you can feel confident divine feminine they come with apology it is going to be sincere okay they know that they want a new life look at this they want a new life with you. They're happy. They want this forgiveness. They want to close off the past. They know they're coming to the edge. They're ready to take this leap of faith. Oh my God, Divine Feminine. They want success. They want to wine and dine you. They've ended up with the past uh, girl, the snake, narcissistic energy. They're changing. They know they stabbed you in the back. They're going round and round in their head about this. But they're doing it because they want to co-create with you. They know that they want your forgiveness. They're going to do everything to try and prove it to you, Divine Feminine. Um, they're having a little trouble in their head. Not nearly as much as Group 1 and 2. But they're definitely wanting to move towards you to do this. Okay? Wow, guys. Guess what the energy is for you guys this week. Amazing. Have your Divine Mask and call my Divine Mask. And let me know. Send me a message down below if you hear. <laughs> Tell him he's got to coach mine. <laughs> I'm sorry guys I mean to mine I'm sorry but I did absolutely nothing wrong in my connection <laughs> nothing <laughs> um and maybe that's just keeping it stuck but nah god's like nah 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 mine's mine's like group number one the super analytical stubborn one so <laughs> every every twin flame couple is different right all right let's take a look at um what is going on here some messages Whew, for pile number three and then we're gonna get some mirrored messages of your masculine towards you let's see what advice spirit has for pile number three please spirit what advice do you have for pile number three please what messages do you have for pile number three for the divine feminines watching in group number three thank you spirit Thank you. Let's get four cards if possible. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine Energy. Some messages. <laughs> you may have iced yourself off from this connection a little bit here, Divine Feminine. Okay, so you may... We have submerged. Okay, so you may have iced yourself off. Spirit kind of wants you to know that you've been going deeply, okay, into the subconscious. You've been doing a lot of healing they know that um, you've been doing and look at this winter solstice. So things have been frozen in this connection for a while. It's caused you to reflect on your own patterns and how to leverage yourself up. So spirit is like also bringing through like how I said I didn't do anything in my twin flame connection. Um, I was nothing but loving and open and, and kind. Spirit is saying you did the same, but things had to freeze for this masculine to catch up to you. They're bringing that up. So um, for you to have this reflection so that you could really come into your power because you're tapping into something now that they want you to work on your powers of manifestation, earth magic, okay? They want you to connect deeper with the earth to unthaw this energy. Look at this. You have the lake and the stillness here. You're moving out of this form of stillness into this uh lake being still and being in the canoe and so there's 
there's a lot of things thawing in this connection as spirit wants you to just keep focusing on your powers your abilities to manifest your visualizations the deep work you've been doing the reflection it's really helping you tap in now you've got to tap into your earth magic divine feminine be still and allow this calmness to move into your life okay so that's the advice for you let's see what messages your masculine <coughs> would like to say to you Oh, beautiful read, beautiful read. Spirit is acknowledging the work you've been doing, Divine Feminine. Really beautiful, really beautiful. You can tap into the magical realms now because you've been doing your work. You only gain access to real earth magic when you go through this. And Spirit is telling me, you, Divine Feminine, you've been doing your work. And because of that, you're going to be gifted this magic. Like, this is beautiful. This is like you blossoming out of a flower now. And your masculine feels it. That's why they're coming forward. That's why they want this with you now. That's why they want the forgiveness, okay? Because you're thawing. Things are beautiful. The abundance is happening. Spring, you know? What is uh, pile number three person, their, their person, what is their person wanting to say to them, please, spirit? What is going on here? What messages does their person have towards them? What messages are here for pile number three? is my mirror deck this masculine energy is definitely in their wow okay we got a lot for you pile number three the most is your masculine is more in their feeling the feminine than they're in the masculine energy so the only masculine energy they're in right now with you is i am reminiscing about us so this masculine is very nostalgic about divine feminine let's go through these the rest are all feeling divine feminine energy. They're hearing you. You may be having a strong telepathic bond. So trust it. Okay, divine feminine. I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> as soon as I say that. How are we having a conversation right now? Am I really talking to you inside of me? I hear you so clearly. So this masculine is hearing divine feminine. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. You guys have a very strong telepathic bond we have here. I am feeling a little off. Something feels different. What is going on with you? This masculine has fe felt this shift of your reflection, the stillness, like everything. This, this masculine has is completely feeling that. Okay. Um, I knew you. I knew your head wasn't in a good space when we met, but I thought I could help you. I soon realized I had to heal myself, and you had to heal yourself. I had to end the pattern pattern of fixing other people and putting myself last. So Spirit is saying it may not have been that they wanted to fix you, but it's like they were a people pleaser and a fixer. And they realized this was a distorted feminine energy within themselves that they had to heal. Okay. We have here. I believe in God. I believe in me. I believe in you. I trust in divine timing. Okay. So this masculine is aware. Wow. You got some of the longest messages that are in my deck here. I'm realizing that I want to fix us, to fix you, to fix me. I'm starting to understand that I can't fix anyone. That's what I just said. <coughs> they wanted to fix and help, but they realized that they have to focus on themselves. Um, I'm starting to understand that I can't fix anyone, not even myself. Nothing needs fixing, but everything needs love. And I'm working on love in the deepest sense of knowing myself better. Oh my God, and Divine Feminine, you are doing the same thing. It is helping this masculine feel you. Something has changed. Our connection feels almost like when we first merged and met God together. I feel us merging. So this masculine is very tapped into his feminine. He is connecting with her every day. He's dreaming. He's talking. This masculine is very much ready to come forward. Okay, pile number three. Um, he's just reminiscing. That's the only masculine energy that came forward. Everything else is about divine feminine. Wow, beautiful. If you like this reading, make sure you hit that like button now. That really helps me subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. Comment below. would love to hear what you think. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hi, pile number four. I almost said three, but pile number four, last but certainly not least, one of my favorite decks here. And we have this beautiful Lumerian quartz. So we're in the Light Seer Ways deck. So we're going to get started on your reading. You pick this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine pair. Let's get started. If you are new to my channel, this is an interconnection spread you won't find anywhere else. And um, 
yeah, if you want to know more about me, all that info is down below. I will be opening up for readings shortly. Uh, so make sure that uh, if you want more info, you can email me or all, again, all that info is down below. Let's get started. What is going on for pile number four? Please, Spirit, can we have four cards? What is the energy update for Twin Flame Soulmate for my viewers in pile number four? What is going on with pile number four, please? What is going on? with pile number four. Let's see what is going on with pile number four. All the readings have been very, very promising. Um, wow, massive energies, the fool, the death card, um, the page of wands and the ton of cups, guys. <coughs> Sorry if you hear me coughing, I'm still healing from COVID. It's much better, trust me. <laughs> oh, God, thank you for your prayers, everyone. I'm also going to be doing a channel teaching today about divine feminine energy and karmic energies and um, the, how to sit in radical acceptance of God's righteousness and justice. We're going to talk about that. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe so you hear that teaching that's going to be channel three today. I'm super excited for it. Let's take a look. Thank you, Spirit. So that is enough. What is going on? group number four so we're going to take a look at the center energies of the main energies in this spread and it's going to move out and forward okay okay <clears throat> so there's a the, the center energies is the death card with the ten of cups. If you guys see that right in the center, I'm going to put it this here and clarify on the right side. But there's massive endings that have happened in this connection. OK, we have masculine down at the bottom here, feminine on the side. You guys are definitely connected through your root chakras. So from your lower chakras, things are manifesting in this connection because this is where spirits are pulling me to show me you guys are ready to manifest this connection. OK. Things have ended here. Things have transformed, okay, for this Ten of Cups, for this new beginning, and this path, the old path, okay, that ended to get you guys on a new path, okay? So this masculine energy, both of you are feeling it in a different way. Because you're connecting, Spirit has shown me that your connection is coming into a complementary balance here. Okay, because the feminine and the masculine are meeting in the root chakras. So <coughs> feminine is bringing in the transformation. Masculine, because she's connected to the death card here. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys, hang on. <coughs> and sorry, just a sip of water. Just give me a I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> it's a lot of talking, so I guess it's the last group is uh it's affecting me. And here, what's happened, um, this masculine is knowing that they have to bring this 10th cup to the divine feminine, okay? Um, this new path is opening up. The divine feminine is feeling this brand new beginning here. She's holding that space through her transformation to bring in new beginnings into her life. So she's really holding that that aspect of transformation. She's not, she's put a, a, a stop down. She's not dealing with anything of the past. She's really moving forward. <coughs> um, hang on, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna get a cough candy. Just give me a sec. Okay, it's so weird because it's not even a breathing issue. It's just a massive tickle in my throat. It's so weird. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's take a look here because Let's take a look at what this transformation is that's running this connection right now. These are the energies, the transformation energy that's bringing in this Ten of Cups between both of you. Let's clarify that, please, Spirit. Wow, the world and the Six of Cups. So it is a return of the past. Cycles are ending to for the past to come through for a reconciliation. That's really what I'm guessing. This is reconciliation energy. Okay, let's see what's going on with how this is affecting Divine Masculine here with this Ten of Cups. This Masculine knows that this is the Ten of Cups. We're clarifying this here. Wow. I can't make... Guys, this is magical. Look at this. He doesn't want the Ninth Cup. He doesn't want the Nine of Cups. So whatever matches Nine of Cups, which is material wealth, material... It's okay. Nine of Cups is, you know, it's complete. It's okay. It's not the Tenth Cup. 
It's not the full abundance of what God brings you, you know, the magic and the manifestations of your calling. He doesn't want just nine of cups anymore. You see that? In reverse. He wants that tenth cup. You guys, there's some beautiful energies coming through. So how is this masculine then connecting with this feminine? They're connecting through their lower chakras and manifesting what they desire. This is masculine towards this feminine. He's looking and dreaming of her. He's thinking of her. He's fantasizing about her. He's trying to find a different way to come towards her. He wants to reveal his truth to her here. Okay, so he wants to come clean. I mean, he's looking at different ways of how to come clean the Divine Feminine. How is Divine Feminine connecting to the Masculine Spirit for group? Oops. We're not going to take that. It wasn't ready. I don't even know what it was. I didn't look at it. Was Divine Feminine towards the Masculine? She wants to offer him this love, but she's not waiting around. She's not investing something if she doesn't. She's loving herself, you know, and, and focusing on how she can transform her life and move forward. So towards the Masculine, she's like, well, you know, I'm just uh, kind of doing my thing here, you know, out of, you know, um, she's not investing, but it's all, sorry, I thought this was the seven. It's the, the attached codependence. She's looking at how to move out of her own attack. Let me clarify that. The attached, whoa. Okay. This, this feminine's had an awakening. Hold on for a sec. She doesn't want the codependence. She's not investing in that. She's not looking at that. She's contemplating how to move forward and love herself. That's what I'm getting. So this attached energy towards the masculine. Yeah, it ended. She's gained enlightenment that she had to make a decision and gain enlightenment to move forward from this, okay? And because of that, this masculine now wants to reveal. What does this masculine want to reveal to her? And looking at options of how to reveal. He's not actioning anything yet. Why is that? Why is masculine not actioning? He's trying to reveal himself he feels blocked from offering anything right now. He wants his 10th cup, but he's blocked. Why is he blocked, spirit? Mm. He's, he knows he has to come clean. So there's something about um, revealing himself. It's the truth of himself about this divine feminine, okay? Um, that he's a little bit afraid of, okay? Um, let's see, because he, know this, he knows this 10th cup is going to bring in this brand new beginning. Let's clarify that. Yeah, he knows he needs to move forward with this. He knows that he needs to rush forward because he hasn't given to this situation yet. This guy, he has not given to the situation. He, he, it, it's keeping separation going. Okay. So he knows that this new beginning that he has to come forward. He hasn't given to it. And so his, his revelation here, I'm going to move this down here. Of why he's not offering. What is this? Why is he so afraid about revealing himself to divine feminine? That he can't wait anymore. So spirit is really pressuring him to come forward here. He's yeah, and to walk away from something and to move towards this. So he's getting highly pressured. Okay, so let's take a look at divine feminine in regards to that new beginning. Well, she's holding patience, balance. She's awakened. But she's not taking, she's awakened to any type of narcissistic energy. She's not putting up with it. So this divine feminine is wanting a reconciliation. She's completely awakened, but she also knows what she deserves. So she's holding balance, temperance, patience. Look at this, the, the wheel following where spirit is guiding her, okay, with her divine masculine. She's holding that deep space of love, but she's withhold. she's letting her guard down, but she's withholding too. King of Cups doesn't always share everything and knowing that if she moves towards spirit, then her guard will come down. Um, a, a commitment may end, a marriage may end. So if this masculine was part of a third party, she knows that the more that she follows spirit, it will, it will heal any type of karmic energies that may have been playing out in this entire situation. And so what is this masculine? Is he walking away from third party spirit? Can you tell me that for group number four? Some of you may, some of you may not. Well, he knows that he has to walk towards his stability and he has to let his guard down as well, okay? He has to uh, break anything down that he's built up because he's been suppressing the truth for quite a while, a long time. Look at this. We have the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? He knows that he has pushed his feminine away. So this masculine has pushed uh, his feminine away by not communicating, okay? He may have ghosted, okay? He may have just said some things that weren't very nice and that was it. Okay, and walk the hell away. And so this masculine is now aware 
of what this is. So what is this Ten of Cups of the transformation for the Divine Masculine, the center energy? How's that affecting Divine Masculine? <laughs> he knows he's delaying ending a relationship because it's dramatic. So he may still be working on trying to end a relationship. There's some delay that's happening. What is that? Why is that happening? He has to end a contract to end his pain. So this is the next movement for him. To, and he's slowly moving through that. So he's taking the steps, the slow process, but he's taking those steps to ending a relationship that's very painful, dramatic, that's held things back. And how is this with uh, before he can move forward to Divine Feminine? What's going on with Divine Feminine here in regards to transformation for this love? So this is just a massive transformation here for both parties, okay? So Divine Feminine in this energy. You guys are starting to manifest the the the, the calling, okay? The uh, She knows very clearly that a commitment in a marriage needs to end and it's going to cause a lot of conflict, but she's holding her strength that she's going to win this. So, too bad. <laughs> too bad, so sad for whoever's involved. Um, this masculine is aware and this feminine is holding her truth and really moving forward. And uh, it's affecting this masculine. Uh, he may still be delaying and ending certain karmic things. It's only because of the pain and the drama that he's causing. But he is taking the steps with this Knight of Pentacles. Slow movement. But he's doing it. So keep moving, Divine Feminine. When you move from energies, moving from the ethers into the 3D, it takes a little while, right? Not everything manifests very quickly because there's a lot of parties and play, a lot of different things. So you just keep moving forward with that energy. Let's pull some oracles and see what is going on with your Divine Masculine towards you. Okay, what is going on? We're going to do some Romance Angels. Answer Angels. Kipper deck. Let's take a look. What is going on with this group number four's person towards them, spirit? What is going on with group number four's person towards them, spirit? What is going on with group number four's person towards them, spirit? What is going on with group number four's person towards them, spirit? Thank you. All right, let's take a look. What would your masculine like to say to you? He definitely knows that you're the ton of cops, so now he's got to clean up his mess. He knows that you could be the one, right? He's completely aware of that. Okay, we've got three for the last one. Spirit's saying take it. So they know you're the one, Divine Feminine, all right? They know that this can lead to marriage. Okay, they may be dealing with a marriage, but they know that they're disconnecting right now because they've got to try and figure out to have a conversation with you, express their love, and they're looking at options and asking friends for advice right now, okay? So they... <laughs> They know that there are, um, this connection is holy. It's, it's beautiful. They know that you are the one they've come into that realization. So now they've got to try and figure out how to actually move this forward. Let's get some angel answers here. They feel that you're already married in spirit. That's a 10th cup that they're feeling. So they're completely aware of it, but they are pulled back in their energy. That's why they're not coming towards you right now. They have to end certain things still, but it's not that they're not aware of that. They are completely aware of it. They know what they have to do, but it's hard. It's a slow, it's a slow movement. So you're ready, Divine Feminine. They're also ready. Listen to your intuition, but I wasn't ready for that. So let's see. Can we clarify here one for each? This could be the one spirit. Wedding, retreat. Okay, I'm not going to take those way too many. Retreat. Thank you. And last one. Thank you. Yeah, they're going to take action. Okay, they know. So they're looking at a way to how to romance you. They're reconsidering this, that this is actually marriage. And they know that this is going to bring big, happy changes in their life. So your masculine is aware of this connection. They completely know that they have to, they may have been commitment phobic, but they know that it's going to eventually lead to a marriage. And this is already a sacred marriage. They're pulled back because they're looking at how to um, deal with their romantic feelings for you. They're, they're still organizing that energy within themselves. And they know that they have to have a heart to heart express. And they're looking at to their friends of how can they take action towards you. So this masculine is working things out. All of the readings have been pretty positive, guys. I'm pretty um, surprised. Um, it's really good. Really good energies this week. Really good energies this week. Let's see what is going on for Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine. What would he like to say in pile number four, please, 
towards the uh, viewer. Thank you. Yeah, they know that this is going to bring big changes, but happy changes. And I think that's why they're procrastinating because, and they're slowly moving through because they don't want to mess anything up. They already feel like there's so much that they have to clean up, but they're doing it, but it's a slow process. So let's see this big happy changes. This could be the one. Thank you. What is this? <laughs> Imagine they're, they're, they're definitely, um, manifesting you. All right. So they're imagining this, they're fantasizing about it. They know that they can, and they have to reconsider that this is going to lead to marriage. I feel some of them have had massive commitment issues that they have to maybe even on time to go leave a marriage. Okay. They have to walk towards a new commitment with you. They have to reconsider their thoughts about marriage and commitment. That's really what I'm getting. So whatever, if they're in, a, in every situation is different because I'm getting different scenarios. So if they were in a commitment, they're realizing that they have to walk away from that and they have to reconsider what marriage really means to them. They may realize like sacred marriage, twin flame love is very different than any other love that they've had. And they have to reconsider that, that they're already married in spirit and they may be getting that realization. Like I can't get rid of this person in my vibe. I'm already married to them. I might as well just be with them. Um, and they're reconsidering that and walking towards you. Okay. So they know that they have to Okay, come to the edge here that they're at a fork in the road and that this is a blessed um, path that they need to take. So this is that crossroads that they're at because they're slowly moving towards coming to take a leap of faith. I think every deck got this one, I, I think. Um, every pile is about a new beginning and coming to this edge. Okay, we have nine, uh, four, and 22. Okay, so a lot of fours for foundation and new beginnings. Okay, and we have here that they know they have to take actions. They're trying to figure out because you feel like home. I think pile number two got this one as well, maybe three. Um, but yeah, the no place like home. They know they have to change in order to bring this down. Um, yeah, yeah, they are fully aware. So this is, you got a slow moving masculine, okay, but that's okay. They know that they don't want to miss anything. They don't want, this is a very meticulous masculine. They want to make, and it's not a control place. It's like, you just want to make sure that they're not um, messing anything up and that they can come to you. So they're looking at different options on how to do this. They're dreaming a lot. They're manifesting you. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what's the masculine towards the feminine energy here. What is this imagine? They know there's going to bring um, big happy changes because you are the person for them. They know that spirit made you together. That's that's really what I'm getting here. Nothing? Can I one more spirit? Thank you. Ah. So they know that they were dealing with a false person. I'm gonna clarify that. Well, give me one more. What do they know about that false person? They may <laughs> have thought that that was the one, but they're have coming to a realization. They're the unexpected. They're gonna have to pay out this karmic energy. They know that they have to move through that um, because they know you're the one, and so they're they're looking at big happy changes um, in order to come towards a marriage. Look at this. They may have been married. Okay. Some of you've been dealing with third person that they may have to pay out this person. Okay. Let's clarify the marriage here because they know that they have to leave a marriage. Okay. To move towards a new type of marriage. Okay. They hold a very high honor for a family. And so they may have to be walking away from a marriage and they have to uh, put that as a high honor with children may be involved. Okay, but for other ones, it's also about building a family with you and knowing the high honor of what a sacred marriage is and moving away from old ways of marriage to new. And it's causing a lot of concern for them. So that's why they're moving very slowly, right? Um, they, they're looking at, they're at a crossroads, okay? They want to come forward towards you and they're at a crossroads. And so they're really trying to figure out, um, they know it's a blessed path. Oops. They know that you're the main female. Okay. And they know they have to be mature to be with you. Wow. So that's why they've pulled back. Okay. Or why they may have pulled back a while ago, but why they're not communicating right now. Because they're trying to come into this place of being a very mature man in order to move forward. And so they know they're going to take action. They're asking their friends for help. They're, um, they know that this is going to bring a sudden amount of abundance to them. You are the divine family. Look, they want to be the male, main man. <clears throat> they know that they, they're only rich when they're with you. They're wealthy. They want to be the main man for you. Okay. Wow. 
So they're aware. They know that they may have to pay out unexpected income to this false person in a marriage, okay? They also know that um, they have to cut out this false person and they're surprised of that they're married in their heart towards you. So that's, an, that's another aspect here, okay? So they're, yeah, they're really moving forward. Let's take a look here. What is going on here with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? Let's clarify this here, please, about this false person, unexpected. Yeah, there's un trying to do everything from unconditional love and they're stalking you, uh, looking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So they're they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're trying to do this from a place of unconditional love for all so that there's peace and harmony. I'm going to get another card. Um, they, they're they making healthy choices here for their abundance, okay? So they, they definitely are making these changes. They know that they have to... Re they were wearing a mask, Okay. Um, before that they've had to reconsider this connection and they may have stabbed you in the back and they're realizing the concern that they may have caused and they um, they know uh it's out of fears of commitment that's what i'm getting what marriage looked like that for them what it means to be attached to somebody what that is it created a lot of fear of, of what they thought they wanted why they may have been with somebody else and what real sacred marriage is. This is what they've been contemplating is what I'm getting. So they want to mature. They pulled back because they really want to mature because they gained the clarity here that they may look they, they may have broken up with you and created separation and they self-sabotage this, but they want to work on it and rebuild it back. So this is something that they have come into an awareness that they've caused a lot of this separation. They know that you no one feels like home but to you. They think about the past. How they had outdated thinking. They've been healing their heart around you. Okay. So they are aware. All right. They don't feel enough. So they're healing their heart about why they don't feel enough. Okay. They they have really put you on a pedestal. They may have thought that you were such a high honor here. That they could never reach that. So they settled too. Right. And they may have thought like. What marriage was and followed old patterns of marriage and now they realize what real sacred marriage really is. So, wow. All right, let's get some healing messages for pile number four. And then we'll get some messages from your person to you with my mirrored messages deck. And we'll take a look at that. Um, don't forget, if you like this reading, guys, please make sure you hit that like button subscribe comment down below would love to hear what you think let's take a look here you want to work with me all that info is down below let's get some healing messages for divine feminine what messages do you have for pound number four please for the divine feminine what is going on what healing messages do you have here please for divine feminine what is going on here for Divine Feminine. Thank you, Spirit. What messages here do you have for Divine Feminine? Thank you. What do you have for Divine Feminine? Oh, yeah. Pile number three got the Strength card, too. So, wow. Okay. So, you have Strength, Mountain Strength, Whale Breach, Crystals Focus, and Forest Breathe. So, what I'm getting here is Spirit is really saying that you're about to have a brand new beginning. You're feeling this new vibration. It's a breach. Breach is uh, when, you know, the whale comes up out of the water. They have a whole new perspective. Your perspective has changed about this Divine Feminine. Keep moving forward. Keep accelerating and hold a strong path here and know where your focus is. Know your magic and breathe and be in that receptive energy, okay? Spirit is really saying it's very important to get out in nature, connect with nature. They're also showing me here the mountain. I think group number two got this too, but you're climbing the mountain. You're seeing the focus of where you want to move in this connection and in your life, really, right? So Spirit is saying this breach is giving you a whole new perspective. You're starting to see things differently you're starting to feel different energies they want you to breathe through it they want you to be okay with it they want you to be kind to yourself so that's really beautiful so you just keep in that beautiful space of what your focus is what your desire the focus is very important for you divine feminine okay um so that you can keep getting these new perspectives and be strong in that breathe through any of the changes that are happening in your life right now let's see what pile number four what does pile number four's person what would they like to say to them and that will be your reading guys let's see what pile number four what is your person what energy are they in are they predominantly in their masculine energy right now are they in their feminine energy right now and what are their messages towards you thank you
pile number four. What would the person like to say, please? Your person is definitely feeling divine feminine energy. Wow, we got four cards that came out. So you're a person, either through your divine masculine, if you've been feeling them a lot, divine feminine, they are feeling you. They are just all about you right now, okay? Your rejection showed me where I've been rejecting myself. I have been seeking approval in others for so long. So divine feminine, you may have put your boundaries down and said no, and it that rejection hurt them. They realize where they haven't been honoring the divine feminine within themselves. They know that now. They're saying here to you, I am I am on my throne. <laughs> they feel you on the throne, divine feminine. I feel my pure essence as a divine feminine. So they're feeling this about you, divine feminine. They're feeling this energy within them. They feel you rising, okay? Um, so this is what they're saying. This is the, the divine feminine. They hear you, okay? I'm on my throne. I feel my pure essence as a divine feminine getting stronger every day. I'm manifesting my life. I hope one day we meet again, but I know you feel me. So they're feeling this message from divine feminine within them. They're, they get it. They get that you are focused. You've give, surrendered this connection. They know that you're, you've gained a new perspective and you're focused on your life. They know that. They're feeling it, okay? I feel you as I drift off every night and I immediately think of you upon waking. So... They're definitely connecting telepathically, energetically to you. They want to be with you. Um, <laughs> they're definitely feeling all the divine feminine energy, okay? I'm feeling a little off. Something feels different. What is going on with you? They feel you shift divine feminine. You may want to look at pile three because it's very close. And they are definitely feeling you. They know that you have moved into a new vibration. They, it's affecting them in a huge way. And they're slowly now moving towards you. All right, my loves, that is your reading for pile number four. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to work with me, all that info is down below. And I can't wait to see your comments below. And we'll talk to you soon. So much love. Bye, guys.